Now we consider non-linear models. So non-linear models are of this form. Y is equal to 5 times x1 times x2. Notice the multiplication now. That is why it is non-linear plus x2 square. So again, these x1 and x2, these are called predictors. And this y is called response. But this has to be converted to a linear model for estimation. So what you do is you now write this as y is equal to 5z1 plus z2 where this z1 is nothing but x1 times x2 and this z2 is nothing but x2 square. So we want some model like this. So let us do this in R and see how it looks like. So first thing is you have to read your data set. So your data set is stored in this file. That is reg.txt and this is the location. So this part is the location and uh, this location is a website but this could be a local drive. Notice that this is a forward slash here. So make sure if you copy it, you make forward slash here. And in general, this is a backward slash. If you go to website address, this will be like this. So you have to convert this. So now you read the first two rows of your data set. So this is row one and this is row two. So we have put header as true because the header is already given. So this is your data set. So given this data set, we want to find out a model like this. So we want to find alpha one, alpha two and a constant. So first step is you make it into a linear model. So this Z1 is X1 times X2, Z2 is X2 square. This is Z1 and this is Z2. So that's what we have done. So you make this into this model and then you can run it. So first you have Z1. Z1 is my data is your data set. Dollar $x1 means you're choosing this column times my data dollar x2 means you're choosing this column. So z1 is x1 times x2 right here. z2 is square. So z2 is my data x2 square. So x2 square right here. We just done that. And now there is your model. Linear model, you're fitting y, y in my data to z1 plus z2. This y is fitted to z1 and z2 and then you have this data frame which will give you the coefficients and the confidence interval. So these are the coefficients and these are the confidence interval. So the model we get is y is equal to our coefficient is 63.63 so the constant term is 63.63 then alpha 1 is 0 0.03 so 0 0.03 x1 x2 plus and this is 0 0.006 So this is your nonlinear model. But you can immediately see that this coefficient lies in this confidence interval. So 0 0.03 lies in this confidence interval minus 0 0.035 to 0 0.09. Obviously 0 lies in this interval. So this is statistically equal to 0. Similarly this 0 0.006 this lies in the interval minus 0 0.02 to 0 0.04. So again, zero lies in this interval. So this is also statistically equal to zero. So basically we cannot fit a nonlinear model to our data because both, both of these are zero. We just have a coefficient and that doesn't mean anything because you could have just taken an average of Y. So therefore this, uh, this model fails. So we have, uh, the result is although we got some values for coefficients but they are statistically equal to zero since zero lies in their confidence interval so you have no model here